So I recently just heard about this thing called the dream gap. And it's this idea that some girls between the ages of six and seven start to doubt themselves and how smart they are. And that means that some girls then will dream less big as they go out into the world. And this thing happened today. Uh, okay, okay, so you know Chelsea, right? <laughs> She's my exuberant, smart as a whip, kind, brave dreamer of a little sister. She's six. And her belief in the possibilities just, it fuels me. <laughs> she inspires my family. She reminds us to ask questions and the fun and failing and the what if in the world around us and the power of imagination is just, <laughs> that's Chelsea. And today at school, they announced that they were gonna have elections for class president. And Chelsea raises her hands and asks, why does there only have to be one president? Why can't we do a bunch of presidents that all work together, you know, instead of just one? And then this little boy said that she was just afraid to run alone because she was just a girl. And then this other little girl stood up for her and said, hey, girls can be presidents too. And, but at this point, Chelsea was just kind of confused and she was starting to lose confidence and back down. I was just with her talking and it made me so sad and mad. Chelsea just asked me, is it not possible for girls to be president? Why did that boy think I wasn't brave just because I'm a girl? Was my idea dumb? She's never asked me if her idea was dumb before. And it broke my heart. <sighs> Those words in the class really affected her, you know? And even that girl who stood up for her, which was great, but the words girls can be president too, unintentionally implies that, that's no that they're not normally. And of course they are. Women are presidents. Women are leaders. Talking to her, it was as if a little bit of light dimmed in her. And I think this is how the dream gap starts, with words, usually unintentional words. But they can make some girls doubt themselves and what they're capable of. Girls can be smart too. Don't be emotional like a girl little bit by little bit, that can really make some girls lose confidence. And I don't, I don't want Chelsea to start doubting herself or the world she lives in. I, I need to pause. Uh, I think I'm gonna go play Puppy Wig Day with her, which is a brilliant game that she invented. my radiating star of a sister. After thinking about it, she literally just said, eh, that's not my story. Meaning Chelsea's story, there are girl and boy presidents working together and coming up with new ideas. That's the story she's gonna tell. She got that from our grandmother who was always encouraging us to tell our own stories. But she said, I can't worry about them. I like that idea, so I'm gonna go back tomorrow and suggest it again. That girl, never to be underestimated. But it's not always that easy, is it? Not everyone is born with the same natural confidence and support system that Chelsea has. And it makes me wonder, any of the times I may have used words to paint the world in a certain way that limits girls, boys, everyone, including myself. I really think we have to think about that and be aware our words have power. Food for thought. Peace. Whoa!